As a two-runway example, an airport with a perfect ordinal X would get numbered thusly. Northwest to southeast gives 315 for one end, because that's the way the pilot needs to point, and 135 at the other. Round to 10 for 320 and 140, then drop the zeros to get runways 32 and 14. On the other side, 225 and 45, round to 10 again, drop the zeros for 23 and 5. Big, busy, urban, international airports will need multiple runways in parallel, but parallel runways have the same heading, thus the same number under this system, which would be unclear for pilots to say the least. So all the agencies assembled to agree. If you have two parallel runways, they will have the same number, but add an L or an R for left and right. If you need to construct a third runway, add a C for center too. But with four or more, two runways will get the correct heading number with L and R, but the others, they're going to get the next closest numbers, but not exactly correct numbers. There are two north math and magnets, the compass points to the magnetic north, and the GPS points to the geographic north. The planes and pilots still love the traditional magnet north. The magnet north pole moves, and quite a lot on human timescales. When we started measuring, it was safely inside of Canada, but it's recently rocketed north. Since runway numbers are derived from the heading on a compass, when the magnet north moves, the runway numbers need to change to match. And the closer your airport is to a magnet pole, the bigger a difference its movement makes. And the thus the more frequently you need to update the number. Which is why it's no surprise that Canada, with more northern runways than anyone, changed her system to be based on the unmoving math north instead. These runway numbers are inconsistent with runways in the whole rest of the world. And thus, there's not one system for numbering runways, but two.